everybody, it's Catherine from Jane Catherine on Books. Just a quick update for week one at the end of the, the first week for March, Mystery Madness. Just to give you a bit of an update how I'm doing. A um, bit of a, a slow week, I think, really. I've read one book, well, I've completed one book, and that is, I'm just looking on my on Goodreads here, and that is Ain't Nothing But a Pound Dog, uh, and that's one of Nelson's picks by uh, Jeannie. Witchley and um, yes I've enjoyed that quite a cute cozy crime um, I gave it three stars but I still thoroughly enjoyed it there was something really endearing about it so much so that I've sent for the second one on my Kindle and I shall tell you what that one is called I'm going to go slow. A Curse, A Coven and A Canine. So that's A Curse, A Coven and A Canine, book two. Because you're left on a bit of a cliffhanger at end of book one. I hate that. I like things to be resolved. So yeah, they were only a couple of quid. So yeah, so I've started reading. Sorry, how many sows is there there? Um, started reading that one, book two in that. Then <clears throat> I've got uh, two main ones on the go. I've started uh, Pretty Baby and I don't know if we all call her Mary Cubico. I understand from David that Cubitza, there's a racing tri racing driver, racing driver called Robert. I'm just looking at him now. Robert, not the racing driver, David. <laughs> I haven't got the racing driver in our lounge, no. <laughs> Robert Cubitza. That's how they pronounce it, it's Polish. So I've had a look to see if she pronounces it the same because she was born, you know, she's an, uh, in America. Um, but uh, I've heard everybody, all the other tubers call her Cubica, so yeah. So I just thought I'd put that out there. Now I'm up to 222. Two, two. Um, to be honest, it was very slow at the beginning, very slow. It's about... Um, a woman called Heidi who keeps seeing a homeless girl who looks about 17 or 18 with a baby and she's living on the streets and you know she's getting cold and in a mess and she hates to see this but uh, she, she doesn't act very wisely this woman I don't think uh, so she decides that she's going to take this girl she doesn't know her uh, she doesn't know her from Adam but she's taking her home to live at home with them so that she can help her out and I thought, well, yeah, you get help for people. I'm always stopping and people asking me for help and things. I think people are drawn to who, who they know will help them, I'm sure. Um, but I can't imagine me just bringing a stranger home. Um, and it was a bit boring to start with. I thought, crack, it's the first uh, Mary Kubica I've read. But I do have to say that it's getting good now. I'm really getting into the story. There's some really good writing in here. Um, the subjects it's covering... Um, some really important subjects. I'm not convinced it's a true thriller though. It's it's marketed as a thriller, even looks it, doesn't it? But not convinced. And then also, I'm about nearly a third of the way through with Mother by Hannah Begby. So this is another one in my. Uh, if you've seen my. Uh, my post that uh, I'm doing five books from my buzzword family and yes what do I think of this one this this is a little bit slow um, <clears throat> a bit slow as well uh, we've got uh, a young couple uh, I'm troubled to conceive a baby and they've just now had a newborn and unfortunately it's been diagnosed with cystic fibrosis um, again marketed as a thriller so far very well written there's some beautifully written stuff about how you feel if you've been diagnosed if you've got a, a baby diagnosed with that but at the minute nothing thrilling I couldn't help it, I needed a bit of light relief, so I've gone on to my next Hamish, Death of a Valentine. This is about book 24, I believe, in my beloved Hamish Macbeth series. And, uh, yeah, 
<coughs> excuse me, needed a bit Hamish, Hamish to read at bedtime. So there we go. Finished one and, you know, halfway through another third of a way to others. So I think I'm on track. Um, I'm going to start uh, one of my famous five uh, that I've already highlighted. I want to read the fifth collection of the famous five by Enid Blyton. I'm starting the, the first book in that in that collection soon. So yeah, I think we're on track. So let me know how you're doing with your March Mystery Madness. Uh, all the usual stuff is written down below. Please go and support all the other hosts and go and join in with the activities. All the social media is down below as normal. See you soon.